What is going on, Trash Talkers? We're back with another episode for you. In today's video, we're going to break down the trade details surrounding Sony Michelle being traded from the Patriots to the Los Angeles Rams. All that and much more coming your way right now. All right, Nick, it was announced earlier on Wednesday that Sony Michelle had been traded from the New England Patriots to the Los Angeles Rams, the Rams being the team that he essentially secured the victory against in the Super Bowl back in Super Bowl 53. And uh, it, it's just kind of a sweet bliss for Sony Michelle to end up on this roster. Nevertheless, he will be replacing the injured Cam Akers. Cam Akers out with that ruptured Achilles injury that will sideline him for the 2021 NFL season. Now with Sony Michelle coming, Daryl Henderson is dealing with uh, some sort of finger sprain or some sort of finger issue that is keeping him out of practice right now so sony michelle will come in immediately become the rb1 will split carries throughout the season with daryl henderson um you know with all that being said i want to just take a look at the trade details real quick Sony Michelle goes from New England to the Los Angeles Rams for a conditional fourth round pick. That fourth round pick being the compensatory pick the Rams expect to get from John Johnson going to the Cleveland Browns, the safety. And uh, if it doesn't pan out, if John Johnson doesn't live up to the expectations to get the fourth round pick, if he gets hurt, whatever the case is, that trade for Sony Michelle then becomes a fifth and sixth round pick for next season. All right, so without all that being said, Nick, I wanted to uh, ask you, what is the impact that the Rams have now with bringing in Sony Michelle? What does this offense look like, and uh, how will he be able to help Matthew Stafford in this offense? It's a very interesting trade that took place earlier this morning because when you break it down, Sony Michelle was in an offense where he was the offset back to Damian Harris, and that's where he started to shine in that role towards the end of last season. That's where things started to pick up during the preseason this year. But now with the trade to the Rams, things really don't change for Sony Michelle, and they actually improve the offense for the Los Angeles Rams because Daryl Henderson, when you look at him having all of the reps last season, the beginning of the year, he didn't do that great. All right. he, he struggled a little bit once he came back from that injury and being that lead guy. So that's when they started working in Cam Akers, and then Cam Akers ended up being the guy who could be that workhorse for them. That's what they expect. That's what they want. But Sony Michelle and Daryl Henderson together, this is going to be an offense that'll work well with both of them. Daryl Henderson's going to work well with Sony Michelle and vice versa, as Sony Michelle is going to be the potential lead back for this team for the for this season as Daryl Henderson has been a guy that he, he hasn't had the greatest offseason. He hasn't been what they wanted in the wake of Cam Akers' injury. And so here comes Sonny Michelle, who's a guy who's been very steady for the New England Patriots for the last four years. And now you bring him in, he's a guy that he may work even better in this offense because the Patriots didn't utilize Sonny Michelle to his full potential, what he was at Georgia with Nick Chubb. Sonny Michelle was the first round pick for a reason. He had a stellar resume coming out of college, and I don't think that the New England Patriots fully unlocked everything that he's capable of doing, but I think that Sean McVay can do that with Matthew Stafford now at the helm. I think that him being great passing back is a weapon that Daryl Henderson is not, and I think that versatility is exactly what Sean McVay is looking for, and I think it makes this offense a lot more explosive. Speaking of the Patriots, I want to just give a little detail on this. So the, the Patriots obviously had a plethora of running backs that they could turn to at any given point. And I want to talk a little bit about why this trade even happened, talking about looking at the backfield that the Patriots currently have. You, you talked about Damian Harris being the lead back for the Patriots. Well, then you take a look at the depth chart behind him, and you got Ramondre Stevenson, who, who you drafted out of Oklahoma in the fourth round this past draft. 
J.J. Taylor, who has come on extremely solid for this team over the last couple of years. And then on top of that, James White, you know what you're going to get with him. He is the offset back. He's the scat back that's going to really help you out in the passing game. And then Brandon Bolden, who's a special teams player, a lot of great guys around Damian Harris. And I believe that Sony Michelle was just one of those guys that was just going to be lumped in. And if you could get some sort of, if you could get some sort of compensation for him versus letting him walk at the end of the season and getting nothing for him, I believe this was the best route for the Patriots to take. Sony Michelle hasn't been able to stay healthy since he got into the league. He struggled with injury. I think that the Rams really need to pay attention to that and keep him on a pitch count, really offset him with Daryl Henderson, and, and hopefully they can run really well in L.A. versus what he did in New England. Either way, I'm, I'm really excited for Sony Michelle and I want to take a look at the fantasy impact that this has. So Sony Michelle was expected to offset Damian Harris. Now that opens up a couple of more carries per game for Damian Harris. It takes away carries per game from Daryl Henderson. So Nick, what are your thoughts on Sony Michelle and fantasy as it pertains to himself, Damian Harris, Daryl Henderson, and all the other running backs involved here? Yeah, so starting with Sony Michel, I think that his stock actually rises a little bit because I do think he has the potential to take over this lead role for the Los Angeles Rams. Not at first, because he still does need to learn this offense. It is a complex offense that Sean McVay runs, but Sony Michel coming from another complex system, I think he'll be able to pick that up pretty easily. And I think by week three, week four, you could expect him to be the starting running back for the Rams. And Daryl Henderson, his stock definitely plummets after this one. He was the sole guy because it was a steep drop off from him to the RB2 they have and now with Sonny Michelle there Daryl Henderson doesn't have the versatility that Sonny Michelle has he's not catching passes out of the backfield so he's limited on his touches now and he's not catching passes I think that Daryl Henderson is a guy I'm staying away from I'm not going near and Sonny Michelle's a guy that is a kind of a sleeper at this point people are going to still look at him and say he didn't do much with the Patriots, so he's not going to do much with the Rams. But the Rams use their running backs a lot differently, and I think Sony Michel is going to fit this system. I think he'll fit Sean McVay's mold of what he wants in this in this offense. For Damian Harris and the Patriots, his role definitely rises. He's going to have a lot more snaps this season. He's going to be working in between each red zone a lot more than we would have seen if Sony Michel were to stay. But the thing with Damian Harris, he's still going to be limited in his red zone opportunities with Cam Newton being a running quarterback, with the multiple running backs that the Patriots have, including Ramondre Stevenson, who is that LeGarrette Blunt type. And if we look back to when LeGarrette Blunt was with the Patriots in 2017, that's when he had an amazing year as a goal line back, getting 17 touchdowns. That's exactly what Ramondre Stevenson has to offer the Patriots, and I think that could also kind of break into Damian Harris's potential being a really good running back fantasy wise so I think Damian Harris he's going to get some more carries he'll get some more yards but I'm still a little bit worried on the amount of touchdown opportunities he's going to have absolutely I believe that this trade really provides a lot of insight and and has a lot of impacts fantasy wise in the actual NFL I think that there's a lot of moving pieces that really got head scratched and trying to figure out where they now fit so uh, I'm interested to hear what you guys think. What do you guys think of the trade, both from the Rams perspective and the Patriots? I want to hear from you guys. Let us know in the comments down below. All right, well, that's going to be all for now. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. We go live every single day. That'll be all. Peace and love.